be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Pagkatapos, sa ligtas naman, sabi niya ganun eh, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, be not to work with His word, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Are you with me? So, God wants us to use our mind. And, and He wants this mind to be filled with His word. However, there are times when God desires us to submit our human reasoning because sometimes this is corrupt. Kaya nga mas mataas ang Bible. It's not all the time your mind is right. Your decision is good. Sometimes this flesh corrupts the mind. And so, that's why our authority over our human reasoning is the Word of God. Amen? The Word of God. There are times when God desires us to submit our human reasoning to Him. Your memory, memory verse is Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. There will be times that you have to trust God. Sometimes, and you know it, especially those people who are uh, 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 working and uh, already have a family, mga tatay dito, mga nanay dito, alam mo yan, sometimes you are calculating things, ito ba ito, ito yan, ito yung pagbili ko dito, ito yung pangarap ko, ito yung magagawa ko. And then sometimes we try to do our best to do it. Tama ko ba? Minsan, pinipilit natin. Sometimes we try to solve everything in the mind and we don't even solve any, anything. Okay? And so there, there will be times that really God wants you to submit everything to Him. Trust in the Lord and all that. And, and what you say, you trust in the Lord, it doesn't mean that you will not, not move. It doesn't even mean that you will not think. It just means that you not, you try to know the principle of the Bible and you try to know the will of God and obey it. Amen. You trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean up unto thine own understanding. Every time your human reasoning is contrary to the will of God, then that's the start of you sacrifice your human reason. Yes, sir. You might be good in decision making, you might be good in problem solving, but in the time that you know that it is against God, it is against the Bible, why don't you submit? Eh, kasi pag sinukong ko sa Panginoon, baka ito yung mangyari. Pag hindi, pag hindi ko sinunod yung plinano ko, baka ito ang mangyari. Baka yung tra, kaya na trust in the Lord. Huwag ka na mag-reason. When, when it is God's will, are you with me? Uh -huh. Beyond reasoning, it must be a surrendered heart. Amen. Pag suko, Lord, hindi ko maintindihan kasi pag sinunod kita, baka mawala na ako, sinunod kita, baka masakta na ako, baka pag sinunod kita, maraming magalit sa akin, pag sinunod kita, hindi ko alam ang mangyayari. And there will be times like that, that when, when, when the Bible says something new, something for you to do, you will, you really not know what will happen next. Okay? Wala tayong ano din, pero sinabi ko lagi sa inyo na, wala tayong free days. Okay? When you go to Pure Gold, there are so many free days. Sometimes when we were Bible students, we eat lunch in Pure Gold. All the free days there. Pati ala, pati chukla. No, not uh, just the food there. But Christianity is not like that. Lord, I will try first. And if it will, it will went well, it will go well, then I'll do it. If there's no blessing, then I will not do it. That's not Christianity. Yes. Christianity is total dependence on the will of God. Yes. Follow in Christ. Taking up your cross, denying yourself, and follow Him. Okay? And so in those, it, and so in this, no matter how good our reasoning is, when it contradicts with the will of God, we obey the will of God. And where is the will of God? The Word of God. Amen? Salita ng Diyos. Often our reasoning is as the thinking of Naaman, who when asked to take a sevenfold back in Jordan's muddy waters, angrily replied, Do you remember Naaman? Yung ketokin? Yeah. Eh, yung went to Elias, sabi niya, Kana ka pa naman, kung saan ako ilulubog, eh, mas malinis naman yung mga ilubog, eh. Sa amin, kesa dito. Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and recover the leper. Bakit ako malubugin yan seven times? Okay? Sometimes that's, that's the way of God. Yes. God wants you to leave something, God wants you to do something, and it's hard. Uh -huh. and, and, and in human reasoning, you would think, I don't know, it's more than Mas mahihirapan pa ako pag sinunod ko ang Diyos eh. Parang mas madadali na ako dito. 
Sometimes we are too intelligent to obey the Word of God. Amen? But the Bible tells us this is our authority over human reasoning. Amen? Hello? For my thoughts, the Bible tells us Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9. Open your Bibles there. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. For those who are who just came, ang uh, ating pong uh, Sunday School, nag-chat lang tayo ng isang lesson, but we will continue next week or the next next week, the history of the New Testament. The history of the New Testament books, okay? Amen. Sina na yung learning yan dito. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. Basa. Ready? Read. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. Okay po ba? Hello? That's it. So, always remember, hindi, hindi ko masama gamitin ang isip. Hindi ko masama gamitin ang magplano. But when it comes with the Bible, or when, 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 when there would be a time when the Word of God is contrary to what you think is right, then your authority must be the Word of God. Amen? Number two. The Bible has authority over the church. The Bible has authority over the church. The church has its authority. The church sends out missionaries. The church sends out uh, preachers. The, the church, we send out evangelists. So we, the church has authority. The church gave me authority to baptize. But the authority of the church can never be superior over the authority of the Bible. Uh, yes. The New Testament abounds with passages which declare Christ as the head of the church. That means His Word is above His church. Okay, Puma? The Savior, it must be remembered, gave birth to the church and not the other way around. Christ founded the church. It is not the other way. It is not church founded Christ. Okay? Are you with me? Amen. Thus, the Christian must look to the Bible and not to any earthly church for final instruction. Sometimes, even those local churches mentioning the Bible itself were grievously wrong. Note the following description of New Testament churches, some of which were started by Pope Paul himself. We know the story. You know the, you, who knows the story of Revelation chapter 1 and 2? Yeah, the game of Masama, huh? In Revelation chapters 1 and 2, you can find churches that some are even founded by the Apostle Paul. But in those passages, you can find God hates something with the church. There are some things in the churches that God hates. There is only one church there that has no, that God has no uh, against, that God is not against. And it is the, uh, the uh, Philadelphia church. Okay, the church at Philadelphia. But the other places in Revelation 1 and 2 and 3, you can find that God, though these churches are good churches, some of them are corrupt because of some teachings and some compromises. Okay? Are you with me? Kaya nga ho, pag ang church na ito, magkaroon na dito ng drum set. Okay? Mga maiksi na ang damit ng mga babae. Ang mga lalaki, mga mahahaba ng buhok. Okay? You go with the Bible. Amen? Amen? Can it happen? It can happen. It can happen. I have a friend, I have a friend on Facebook, and he's a pastor of a Pentecostal church, and, I, and, and he posted that. And if you, uh, if you, if, if you are saved, you ought to be happy like this. And then he posted a praise and worship uh, scene and my, they are jumping and rocking and and, and, and everything. And the, the, the place is so dark, it's like disco. And, and, and could it happen to Society Bible Baptist Church? Yes, it can. Yes, it can. If the Lord will take us and the budget is done first, <laughs> and then the, and the preachers, and then somebody will just be a pastor here. 
and you copy uh, liberal theology, and some of you would still remain. And uh, uh, alam niyo what's what? I see churches like, that, especially in the states. I know, uh, 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 you know, in, the, the, there are churches that there are some old members who who are used to solemn worship, who are used to the King James Bible, who are used to 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 sing hymns and and and, and hear uh, biblical preaching, and then and then the churches uh, became liberal. And they are still there. And I wonder what do they feel? Just like just last night I was studying and then they are practicing uh oh holy And how come would he, how come would he remember, but I just don't know, maybe they like it, but parang mga halimbawa, kayo, mawawala kami, I will be gone, and then you will stay here. And then, another pastor will stand here, tapos may mga drums sa dito, tapos may mga strobe light na dyan, pagkatapos nakapatay na yung ilaw, pagkatapos makikita na natin yung mga anak natin na we will see our children na rocking each other and banging each other while singing. Would you, would you, would you imagine to be a in a church like that? Uh, you know, you know, you know, the Bible is the authority over the church. You go. You go. When, when the pastor here is teaching something which is not in the Bible, you go. Okay? And when teaching tayo the man of God is not God. Okay? Yes. Any preacher can stand at the back of the pulpit and teach you something, but when it is against the Bible, this is your final authority. Yes. This is your final authority. Yes. Okay? And, uh, and so we find here that even in the churches of Revelation 1 and 2, you can find some churches that has problems, okay? And the Bible is the authority over the church. We don't have time to uh, specifically study each church. But the Bible has authority over number one, over human reason. Number two, over the church, okay? Number three, over tradition. Amen. Listen, tradition is not act. When it doesn't go against the word of God. Pag sinabi kasing tradition, nakasanayan. Halimbawa, yung magmano. Ano ba? Tradition na ng Pilipino yan. Magmano. Bumati. Magaganda mo yan, hindi mo yan masama. Okay ho? Hindi masama yung mga nakasanayan. Sa, sa, sa mga churches, May mga ginagawa tayo na, na alimbawa, may Sunday school tayo, may preaching tayo, nakasanayan ng ginagawa ng mga churches. Okay, ho? There are even traditions of the apostles. Diba? Yung, 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 yung mga preferences natin, hindi masasama na kuha din yan. Okay, ho? Nagigess yung buha ko? Yeah. Hindi masama ang tradisyon. Pero magiging masama ito pag mas mataas na ang tradisyon sa salita ng Diyos. No, it can never be. The Bible is over tradition. And so, when human tradition is against the Bible, you don't do it. Okay? You choose, in, in this atomic and space age where change occurs at rocket speed, Many have come to appreciate some of our beautiful traditions of the past. And rightly so. But traditions like changes can be wrong. If a thing was in error when it began, it is still in error regardless of the centuries that separate it from us today. Often in the past, hurtful traditions of the fathers had crept into the church of the living God. Our Savior himself was grieved over some harmful Jewish traditions. Hindi masama maghugas ng kamay, tama? Pagkumain. Pero yung mga pariseyo, lahat ng mga kumakain ang hindi naghugas ng kamay, sinasabi na nila na makasalanan. Okay? Siguro may bulati yun. <laughs> hindi naghugas ng kamay. Pero hindi makasalanan yun. Sabi ng Panginoon, it's not what's come inside a divine man. It's what comes outside the Lord Jesus Christ said. And so, He said, the Bible is about your tradition. God, God hates it. 
Galit ang Diyos pag ang church pinapatakbo na ng tradisyon. Nakagawian na natin yan. Nakaugalian na natin yan. Okay po? At tayo po naman mga Pilipina, masyado tayo mga ano dyan. Ano? Masyado tayo nakakabit sa mga tradisyon at nakaugalian. Nakaunigalian na kasi namin ito. Kaya hindi na. Eh, ba paano kung a-absent ka naman sa church? <laughs> diba? Paano kung hindi ka makakapag-worship? Okay? Are you with me, Christians? Hello? So, The Bible must be above yes. what you are used to of doing. Okay? Well, above tradition. And honor not his father or his mother, I mean in Matthew 15, 16, he shall be free. Thus have he made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Later, later Paul would warn also of this in Colossians 2.8. Open your Bibles there. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Ready now? Ready, read. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vague deceit, after the tradition of man, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Mag-ingat tayo, sabi niya gano, baka yung filosofiya at yung mga tradisyon na ng tao. And right now, we know that there is a religion that is run by tradition. Uh -huh. I remember the time when we have to walk uh, barefooted for hours just to be in the procession. You know? And uh, you would feel guilty if you don't do it. I just, watched, I just watched a video of a church in India. They are slapping their faces. <laughs> yeah. Because in Philippines, we're doing it. 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 Ano ba mga ito? Okay? And that's how, that's, listen, that's how foolish tradition can be without the Bible. Okay? Not, not, kasi ang Bible ang authority natin. Okay? It is over tradition. Okay? Next. The Bible is our supreme authority. It is our authority over preachers and pastors and popes. For me, the Pope has no authority. Okay? But in, the, in other religions, when the Pope speaks ex cathedra, that means it is God's word. They call it ex cathedra. When the Pope speaks of that, once the Pope announces it, that means everything that comes out of his mouth is the word of God. That's how, that's, that's how the Catholic can find it. Okay? No? And, and you know it, that's why. That's why. You would wonder, you would wonder, so bakit ganun? Malinaw naman na bawal ang Diyos Diyosan, bawal naman magtayo ng, it is uh, prohibited in the Bible to make graven image. Why do some people do not know it? They have the Bible. Because for them, there is something over the Bible. And it is tradition and the Pope. Yung po, kung ano yung sasabihin ng Pope, kung ano yung mapapagmitingan sa council, that would be, be above the authority about the Bible. Are you with me, Christians? And we don't believe that. The Bible is above any man. No matter how godly a pastor is, they are, he is still a finite man, fully capable of the vilest sins. Are you with me? Kaya pag ako there are really some leaders who are like that. They would really force you to obey. Okay? But I don't feel doing it because above me is this one. Sa kuha naman na pag sumunod ka dahil pinilit ka. Are you with me? Hello? O inipit ka. Hindi ka pinilit pero inipit ka. Alam mo yung inipit? Sige, hindi ko mo sinunod yan. Hindi ka lang masusuporta. Wala na kang support eh. Are you with me? Di ba sometimes? Sometimes you would obey because you are you will obey because you have no choice. And it's not good. You have to be obey because you have to choose God. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Joshua did not say, choose God today or I will kill you all. He did not tell the people like that. 
He said, choose, choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay? And as your pastor, that's my word. I will tell you what is right. I will tell you what the Bible said. Now you choose. Uh, now you choose. Yeah. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Okay. You choose God or I will hate you. You choose God or not. It's your choice. Yeah. Amen? Because the Bible is above any man. Hey. Yeah. The Bible is above our feelings and, listen to this, experiences. Hindi po agad nakakita ka ng parang tigbalang, may tigbalang na. Baka mamaya drawing lang ng kabayo yung nakita mo. May mga ganun eh. Listen, the Bible is our authority over experiences. Hindi po ito nakita ko talaga eh. Kaluluwa talaga siya, kaluluwa. Kaya ko din, siguro naniniwala na ako, hindi mo nadidiretso sa natin, tsaka sa impyerno. Baka ba ba hindi kaluluwa, baka nabas na yung kaluluwa? Uh, Are you with me? Hello? Anak uh, ako siya, Rudy. Mga Kristiyano, are you with me? The, your Bible should be above your experiences. It doesn't mean you see or... The Bible is more authoritative than what you experience. Why? Because sometimes you might be... Ang tawag nito? You might be deceived. I remember we have friends in the river in Tondo Manila. I have two friends and they're so crazy. What will they do? There is a dark street. And they will put in a, a thread, a very thin thread. And they will uh, uh, put a candle at the last part of the thread. Then they will light the candle. And then, and then it's like a floating candle in the dark. And so the, ah, the people are running when they go to the street. And they are just laughing on the roof. Uh then you would see the people running away and then they would be like a and you know Filipinos would believe it Filipinos would believe everything ako lahat tayo naniniwala tayo sa mga kasabihan naniniwala tayo sa malas malas talaga itong lugar na to hindi mo rin nahanap po yung malas na lugar na marentahan natin pero wala na dito sa may mila masyado tayo naniniwala sa pamahigin Sige ba sa inyo, naglalaway pa? They are not in the stage here. If, if your kid is sick, they will put saliva on its face. Thank you, thank you. May mga tanong ka ni Sano. Alam niyo yan, baka may gumagawa pa sa inyo niyan. Huwag niyo huwag patilaan yung anak ninyo pag may lagnat. Kaya huwag may lagnat siyan. Ikalawa ko, ang lagnat ko hindi sakit. <coughs> yung lagnat, yung katawan natin lumalaman doon sa sakit. Kaya nila nagnat ang tao. Nag-iinit tayo para labanan yung mga bakterya o virus na natin sa katawan. Okay ho? Ngayon yung iba, pinapatanggal yung lagnat. Kaya yun nga, magpapangawas pa yung iba. I remember the time, and why I tell you, when we were kids, we believed all those things. Because there was a faith healer that would put a candle, and then he would drop the candle to the, uh, the candle wax to the water. And then suddenly the wax will, will turn into a face. And then, saan ko kamukha ano? Kamukha talaga ng mga ari. And then, then, then the faith healer will tell you, she's the one that made you sick. And so my father will pay much and then the faith healer would uh, put his saliva on my hand. Like that. And I would just remember, he would press this one and then sabi, masakit, masakit. Eh, ang sakit talaga. Ang sakit to. Tapos pag nagbayad na, gano'n na. Masakit pa? Wala na. Ang <laughs> magaling na ako. People believe those. Okay? Filipinos believe these things. But the Bible tells us the Bible is over those things. Huwag kayong maniwala sa mga pamahiin. Here in the Philippines, when there is somebody that is dead, you cannot sweep the floor. Or you will die next. Kaya ang dumi ng mga lamay naman. Ano nagwawalis ako, pinapagalit ako. Bawal magwalis sa gabi. Yung mga lola natin, ako, papagalitan tayo. Bawal magluto habang kumakanta. Ang daming mga bawal. Bawal sumipol sa gabi. Dapat bawal magcomputer sa gabi. At times, Christians fall into error because they feel led to do or say certain things. However, we must learn that at times our feelings can be treacherous and totally untrustworthy.
worthy. Nagkakamali mo ang tao. I remember one time, I woke up at midnight and then I saw some, a big guy that is black. And then I told all my relatives about it. And now, they concluded because they also saw things like that. And then they concluded that there is a monster inside the house. May multo. There is a ghost living in our house. And they are all afraid trying to put some uh, garlic and salt. Church. Uh, you know what? Because we were already attending a Pentecostal church then. Uh, and we still believe in a kid today but the mother is afraid of ghosts because she experienced it. The Bible is over your experience. Kasi pwede kang madaya. Are you with me? Yung butol-butol ka, huwag ka din madaya. Ang ibig sabihin, Pwede tayong madaya. We can be deceived of our experiences. Baka akala mo multo, yung pala talaga, hangin lang. Ha? Yung akala mo tik-tik, ibon pala. There is a saying also here that when you're pregnant, there is a monster on the roof that is waiting to eat your baby. <laughs> And I remember those times when we are really afraid of that because our parents told us so. Basta mayroon kang gumalaw sa kubo. Nagtik-tik yan, tik-tik yan. Mag-pray na kayo. <laughs> We would even ask to pray. Okay, ho? But you have the Bible which is over any experience. Uh, Ay, wala ka pala yun. Di pala totoo yun. Sabi ko nga naman, oo nga naman. Bakit sa Pilipinas, ikbala? Bakit sa Amerika, werewolf? Sosyal. <laughs> Bakit hindi parehas? Bakit sa kanila iba? Oo, oh, sa atin. Pati yung asuwal ng local yun sa atin. Important yun sa kanila. Sa kanila, vampire. <laughs> sa atin, manalanggan. <laughs> yun yung mga katangisip na kumisan. Yung iba na sobrang paniniwala. O katulad nito, just last week, a two weeks ago, in Aurora, there are chickens who are dead. They, they found the chickens that are dead as bite has bite marks on the neck, on the body, and then the people concluded that it's all because of an aswang. Aswang talaga yan, aswang talaga yan. And when the doctor studied the bodies of the chicken, it's just a dog <laughs> who killed all those chickens. You see? So, I mean, nakakaya ito yun, pag yung kristyano pa ang maniwana. Okay, ho? So, ano ibig kong sabihin? Ang ibig kong sabihin, ano ba na pumasok sa ating isipan at paniniwala, Pag alam mo po, tara sa Bible, lalo na yung kanuluwa, wala akong kanuluwa na maglalalagi dito. Uh, Saka makikita yun, ba, huwag mamatay ka, tatakotin mo ba yung mga mahal mo sa buhay? Uh, I told them, if it's true that my soul will remain here and not go to heaven and hell, I would go to America. I would ride a plane. Diba? Why, would I, why would I disturb my mother and my sister? And would, Maganyan lang ako sa kanila. Humingi ako ng mustisya. Di ba ganun yung mga naaanan na natin? Ay, nakakita ka ng kanuluwa. Di ba sa makakita na ganun kanuluwa na ng mananakot? Di ba? Are you with me, Christian? And then, I, you know, I, now, I, 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 then, I was, uh, tawag nito, I was, uh, I, I was liberated with those beliefs when I studied the Bible. Uh, the Bible tells us that one man, one, once a man is dead, his soul will either go to heaven or hell. Amen? Amen. We'll go to the presence of God or we'll be banished in hell. There is no man's soul here. Are you with me? Uh, And what is our authority over those believe? The Bible tells us the truth. Amen? Amen. Okay, so... Thus, as valuable as personal experience may be, it is no substitute for the revealed Word of God. So, hindi lang po feelings, pati personal experience. Do you know, when Job had this uh, sickness, his three friends went there, and they were trying to accuse Job of his sin. Why? Because we experience this. If, if, if you're right with God, there will be no problems at all. And then Job was wondering, why I have this sickness? The Bible is beyond or above your experience. Hindi ko authority ang experience. Now, hindi ko naman ang sinasabi, mahalaga rin mo naman ang experience. Yes. Talaga nakita mo. Nandung mo na sa Bible kung talaga magtanapo siya. Eh, nakita mo ba, tinapo niya? I mean, 
hindi naman masama na gamitin yung mga nakita natin, na amoy natin, our six senses, o five senses, alam ba? <laughs> o oh, 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 five senses, it's not bad, ano, to use these uh, senses. Kaya lang nga, ang authority niya, Bible ka rin. O na hindi po rin ganun na, yun na talaga ang tama, at yun na yung nakita mo, okay? Thus, as valuable, valuable as personal experience may be. So, hindi masama ang personal experience. Don't get me wrong. Kaya lang kailangan ho, i-check nyo mo na baka kontra na sa Bible yung paniniwala ninyo. Listed below are the various functions of this authoritative book called the Bible. It upholds, it orders steps. So, we don't have to go on in each of that. It produces joy, it strengthens us, it gives hope. So, don't you ever forget, brethren, that the Bible is our supreme Authority. Authority over human reason. Calculation mo, pag-iisip mo, yung alam mong mangyayari tama, the Bible should be about that. Amen? And so when you're thinking, you're reasoning those against the Bible, obey the Bible and trust in the Lord with all your heart. Next, authority over the church. Authority over tradition. Number four, authority over preachers and pastors. Number five, authority over feelings and experiences. Okay? So let us pray and thank the Lord for that.